Hello everyone. From ordinary finger batteries, you can make an excellent soldering iron that works no worse than what you bought in the store. In this video, I will tell you what it takes to assemble such a homemade soldering iron and show you how this whole assembly process takes place. But first of all, I want to remind you about the Invex Lab Telegram channel. There you will find a lot of useful and interesting information from the field of modern technology and electronics. And now there is a drawing of such a multimeter. To find out the terms of this draw and take part in it, follow the link to the Telegram channel, Invex Lab. The link will be in the description below this video, as well as in the first comment. The soldering iron will be based on an aluminum tube. Its diameter does not matter in principle. I treated the edge of the tube with a fillet to remove all irregularities. Some time ago, I bought myself such a set of magnet tools, and it turned out to be very useful for today's D. There are many different tools in this set, but the most important of them is, of course, a screwdriver. In appearance, it is very similar to DeWalt. Its parameters are as follows. A voltage of 21 volts and a maximum torque of 40 newton meters. Two batteries are included with the screwdriver. Their capacity is 6 ampere hours. The screwdriver is quite compact and very convenient. As I said, there are a lot of different tools in this set. A hammer, an adjustable wrench, long pliers and pliers are fixed in the lower part of the case. This hand tool is of pretty good quality. For example, pliers confidently bite through steel wire with a diameter of 3 mm without any negative consequences for themselves. I have been using this set of tools for some time now, and I am quite satisfied with it. For household chores, this is a great option. There was already a hole on the back of the tube, but it needs to be widened a little to allow the wire to pass through it. Now you need to fix a wooden plug in the tube, in which the heating part of the soldering iron will be held. From an aluminum tube with a diameter of 5 mm, I will make two holders for heating elements. I pushed the paper inside the soldering iron handle, which will isolate the wires from the metal body.
Now you can clamp the wires in the holders. It is better to fix the holder with glue for reliability. The heating element of the soldering iron is a graphite rod made of a salt battery. To remove the rod, the battery must be carefully disassembled. The diameter of the graphite rod is 3 mm, and the inner diameter in the holder is slightly smaller, so it needs to be slightly increased. The graphite rods are fixed, and all that remains is to make a soldering iron tip. I will make it from a copper wire with a diameter of 1 mm. The soldering iron supply voltage is 12 volts. Now I'll connect it to the transformer and check what happened. When you turn on the graphite rods and the copper tip for the first time, the remnants of the coating burn out, so the soldering iron smokes for several seconds. Well, now you can check the soldering iron in operation. First, I'll try to dismantle a few parts. The soldering iron works perfectly. It is also very easy to return the parts back. As you can see, a soldering iron made of ordinary batteries works great. This concludes this video. If you liked it, then click the subscribe button so that you don't miss the new video on my channel, which will appear very soon.